welcome to Tech It Out. I'm Danae Wolf, Educational Technology Specialist with Ohio State University Extension, and this is the first in what I hope to become a regular series of short videos featuring tips and tricks on all things ed tech. For my first video, we'll start with something super simple but very helpful. I'll show you how to create a hyperlink in an Outlook email. So you might be wondering why bother hyperlinking in an email when I can simply copy and paste a URL? Well, hyperlinking allows you to get rid of long and ugly URLs in the body of an email, and it's a really easy way to clean up the messages you send to both colleagues and clients. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is open up a new email in Outlook. And I'll mention here that I am using Outlook 2011 for Mac. Depending on whether you're using a PC or a Mac and what version of Outlook you're using, your interface might look a little bit different. So we have a new email open. Let's say you're emailing a couple different fact sheets to a client. And instead of having all those long, ugly URLs, we just want some nice, clean text. So you have two different options here. You can go ahead and type in the text that you want to link. We're going to type in gardening for pollinators, which is a newer, great fact sheet that I've used many times. So I'm going to go ahead and type in gardening for pollinators. You can simply select that text and then there's a button up here that says hyperlink and there's an icon with a world and a chain. That is pretty much the universal icon for hyperlink. You'll find that in websites and um, email like right here. You can go ahead and click that. It gives you one option to type in and I'm going to go ahead and paste that URL in there. I already had it copied and then click OK. And you'll notice the text down here has turned blue and now it's underlined and it's been hyperlinked. If you click that, it'll bring up, it's opening Safari, which is my web browser. The internet's a little bit slow and you'll see it open that fact sheet, attracting pollinators to the garden. So I'm gonna close out of that. The second option is you can click hyperlink before you actually type the text and you have two options. You have a link box, which again, we're gonna go ahead and paste that URL into that link box. And the second option is a text box. The text box is simply the, the text that you wanna hyperlink. So we can type in gardening for pollinators if we know how to type. And then click OK, and that'll place that text right in the body of your email. It's as easy as that. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Tech It Out. If you have ideas for future topics that you would like to see covered, let us know. To learn more about the ed techs and how we can help you as extension professionals, visit our blog at u.osu.edu slash extension ed tech, and don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow us on Twitter. See you next time.